Hello all you Star Wars fans and art enthusiasts. This is the YouTube channel you're looking for. So, welcome back everybody. Um, today is a uh, uh, special about um, uh, using water-soluble oil paints on a uh, uh, commission painting I'm doing of Chewbacca. So, it should be... Uh, it should be pretty pretty interesting. This is going to be a part one of, of two, so make sure you come back and uh, see how it all finishes out, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So what did uh, Chewbacca say to R2-D2? I don't know. Anyone speak Wookiee or droid for that matter? So there's uh, my uh, dad joke for part one of this painting. Um, as you can see, I'm basically covering up the white. I'm putting a first coat down. Um, this has been something new for me uh well i shouldn't say new but it kind of is i haven't painted with oil painting for uh for a long time probably since i was like 10 10 or 11 years old and uh this is something um, different though this is water soluble oil paint and what that means is uh you don't have to use all the the toxic uh, chemicals uh, to rinse your brushes and to thin your paints down uh, with uh, like turpentine and different things so um, this is basically you can you can thin it down with water or I was using some water soluble linseed oil as well um, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm just covering up all of uh, my white for some artists, it's uh, kind of distracting to see the white on there. So you kind of put a, a base coat down. Um, just a... Uh, just a note. Uh, so I'm going to be... My cousin, Michael, is going to be coming... Uh, coming over uh, soon, I hope. Um... We just need to make time to get together, and uh, he's going to be uh, showing me how to use. I I got a uh, um, an audio or a music um, program to start making my own music, and uh, hopefully that'll be be interesting uh, to make make some music of my own to put on these uh, these videos I'm making, just so you can listen to some music, hopefully good music, and instead of hearing me just talk, <laughs> talking can be a little boring, but maybe I can talk about um, the process here. Uh, it's definitely um, difficult uh, to use that uh, the oil paints, but it was really actually, I was having a lot of fun um, painting with them. It just uh, it's different because it's you're you're working with uh, paint that um, that that dries longer than than it would take for uh, for acrylic, but that's that can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. So um, I I found I found some of the bad the bad points about it and uh, some of the good when I was uh, doing this painting. So I'm breaking this uh, this up into two parts. Uh, the first part, uh, because I was able to to to, to work this uh, pretty good and and get a good start going, but then it started to dry on me, and uh, that's the bad part. So when it started to dry, I, I you'll be able to see where I'm starting to to lift up paint uh, from the previous coat, the base coat, and um, 
I was just really having a hard time with that. So I let it sit overnight, and usually I guess with watercolor, I'm sorry, with water-soluble uh, oil paint, it, uh, it'll, it'll supposedly it will dry within uh, like over 24 hours. Uh, but I went up the, the next day and, and started back at it again, and I, it started picking up the paint again and uh, uh, I just said well I'm gonna wait till uh, I'm gonna wait a week and hopefully it'll be dry and uh, go back over it again so oil you know my understanding is that oil paint traditional oil paint will, will, will take anywhere from a week to a month even to to dry and I guess it even continues to dry over over like a year, uh, it'll it'll move and and uh, so there's a process. I guess it's called uh, uh, fat over lean is what they is what they call it. So since you're using oil, um, you want to start with a lean layer on there and then have uh, have more oil um, and a thicker concentration on top of that and hence the reason why probably it didn't dry in time but um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize for uh, the top of my bald head uh, getting in the frame there every once in a while uh, did not mean for that to happen but uh, it did. I was getting kind of a glare from my lights, my studio lights, on top of uh, the painting there. So I tilted it up, my uh, uh, my work table up a little bit to try to get that glare so it wasn't so bad. And then I had to move, since I did that, I had to move my camera on top out. And um, uh, when I did that... Um, yeah, my head, uh, top of my head got in there, so, but, uh, anyway, so, I'm kind of putting in a little bit more finer detail, not, uh, uh, not anything really fine, but just, uh, put in some more detail just to kind of build on that, um, and then I'll continue to build on that again, um, with the next layer, so each layer, getting more and more detail but um, but yeah I hope uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this painting and uh, definitely come back for uh, for uh, the part two and see how it all turns out uh, quick uh, quick shout out to uh, to Mike and uh, Shannon I uh, went to their uh, wedding uh, reception this past weekend, and uh, um, they had some uh, some uh, kind of a somewhat of a Star Wars theme uh, with some Star Wars music playing. And uh, when they when they came in to the reception hall, uh, it was a, it was really nice, really nicely done. And uh, I hope they uh, hope they enjoy their uh, their Disney vacation. They're going to Disney and enjoying. Uh, that down there so congrats again to them but uh yeah i just uh, started off dark with this painting and and um I'm, I'm, I'm slowly adding more and more light and uh, like i said hopefully it'll it'll turn out really nicely for part two so but uh thanks again and uh look forward to seeing you guys next week